Hello everyone and welcome to what it's about to be a two-in-one review as uh, today I'm going to do a full review on the Curb e-bike uh, kit and this is a budget but also very advanced in some kind of way uh, e-bike kit so you can convert any kind of uh, normal bike into an electric bike uh, this uh, Curb e-bike company sells a lot of uh, types of uh, electric motors and batteries and controllers they have a lot of kits and they have power ranging from uh, the standard uh, 250 watts of power up to 2000 watts of uh, serious uh, trouble also they have a lot of uh, batteries they have a full range of uh, small capacity larger capacity higher voltage lower voltage and all of that comes equipped with a lot of accessories such as uh, torque arms, cables, uh, accelerators, displays uh, and the best of it, uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, packages so you can actually choose what you need uh, also be sure to check my other videos, I'm going to leave a link here for those where I present you my current kit that is installed on this bike uh, I had did uh, an unboxing of it and you can check out all the accessories and the particularities that are very interesting of this kit which makes it stand out from the other existing ones beside the unboxing video you are going also to find my installation video where I have uh, shown you uh, most of the steps that uh, they, uh, they are required to install such a kit uh, the advantage of the curb e-bike kit is that you can install it super super easy especially the front kit it's like changing the front wheel and just using some zip ties to secure the other accessories it's super simple uh, you don't uh, need advanced uh, e-bike knowledge and all of that because this kit takes care of all things especially of the complicated wiring as this bike is now in working order and look at that it just has only two main cables only two plugs here and that's it it's super simple uh, all of that uh, messy wiring that you get on other kits with each wire for each sensor such as the accelerator such as the each brake lever such as the um, cadence sensor they all have individual wiring and it turns up into a huge mess of uh, balls of wires and plugs and different colors and they do not match and it gets a, gets up to a point where it's turning into a nightmare it's not happening with this and i was saying that this is a two-in-one review because uh, beside reviewing the e-bike kit uh, i have decided to install this on one of my favorite e-bikes which is a d30 from edo and this is already an e-bike a very nice e-bike very efficient very light uh, and this bike also has some tricks up its sleeve because it can be unlocked and from the standard 25 kilometers per hour and 250 watts of power you can get this to up to 40 kilometers per hour just standard with doing just a tiny amount of mods you can also find those here so it's a really really nice e-bike uh, and it's very efficient it uses very little power so you can ride this in assisted mode for very very long range also i have the same expectation from this kit that i have installed in front but now with two motors i should have some really awesome torque and power going up because i want to have a full uh, a feeling of each system i have decided to do rather simple wiring but uh, very conclusive one uh, the front system is separated from the rear system so i have actually two displays here both working and two accelerators both were working uh, and this way i can test each kind of uh, motor how it performs uh, and how fast it is how it accelerates and of course i can test both of them working at maximum power which i intend to do to see if there is an improvement in acceleration in toe speed and if if it does feel to have more power or maybe not we are going to check that also because doing such a combination an e-bike with an extra motor means extra added weight in the front extra added weight of the second battery and this system now it's uh, also weird because the original battery in the frame there is 36 volt and that's a 36 volt system and that's a 48 volt battery with a 48 volt motor so i'm combining two things here that are different but similar 
I'm saying similar because the motor that I have installed in the front uses the same technology as the rear motor. Both are geared motors that have uh, planetary gear in inside. So actually the motor spins about four times faster and that actually increases the torque of the motor in comparison with the direct drive hub motor about four times. So they have four times more torque than a normal motor. Also, they have a one-way clutch. So that means then when you are not supplying power to the motor, the motor will uh, disconnect from the wheel and the wheel will simply free spin without putting any kind of drag onto the motor and onto the bike. So that makes it very efficient because you can coast with the bike, you can go downhill and it's not going to use power and it's not going to slow down because there's nothing holding it back like a normal direct drive hub motor. So enough with the talk already, let's test ride this because it's going to get boring talking all about it, how good it is, but not actually riding it. So uh, to know, my weight is about 85 kilograms, so you can assess the performance. Also, I have a backpack that has today about one and a half, maybe two kilograms, so you can judge that. It's rather a easy backpack today. And the added weight of the whole system as to the weight of the bike, I don't know them exactly, sorry for that. Uh, so let's take this to the right. So I'm going to put the kickstand up. Right, so the bike has several uh, assisted modes. Uh, it has currently five assisted modes. I hope that you can observe that on the camera. Uh, just like the uh, bike here, both are set up to have maximum assistance at level five and both have throttle enabled on level five. So there is no speed limit on either system and there's no power limit on either of the system. So let's get to the asphalt there. And so let's see, uh, which motor should we test first? Uh, I think I'm going to start with the new one because the review is mostly about the new one. And I'm going to start the accelerator. And from the beginning, I can tell you that the motor is a bit more noisy than the stock motor because the stock motor makes almost no sound. But the new motor has a lot more acceleration and that's mostly because uh, although both uh, motors are fed up by similar controllers about 50 amps each the front motor works on 48 volts so that results in uh, I don't know I forgot my math at home today so it definitely has more power because that's how electric works it has same amount of amps but at higher voltage so it has more power and I'm going to add probably here on the screen a calculation of the total amount of nominal power and peak power of uh, each motor and both combined so rear motor works nice works silent it gets you up to speed the front motor it really makes the bike go a lot more faster so you can feel that and if i combine them well that's a totally different story because i need to find a longer stretch of road to actually assess the performance but the acceleration is indeed a lot more better and i can truly say that it's two times greater than it is with just one of the motors. You can really feel it picking up speed and it jumps to 35 kilometers per hour in just a matter of moments. But I also need to find a longer stretch of road to actually test the true speed. So let's see now. Both acceleration are, are maximum. And I'm already doing 43. 40, 44, 45, and I'm running out of road. So I was doing 45 and the bike was still going and going. Uh, that's an interesting, interesting feeling. It's like riding actually a moped because this thing is get, gets fast. 
and I like that the power is progressive, but it doesn't temper, temper down, so it accelerates and accelerates and keeps on putting speed and speed. So until 45 kilometers per hour is just constant acceleration. That feels really nice. Look at that. This is so, so nice. And again, did the clean 45 kilometers per hour. And now uh, another interesting test because this is not only four speed. You can see here there is a small stretch of road with a very steep incline. You can see the difference there. Uh, all the houses and uh, all buildings are way up there. And this just goes up there. It's a very steep incline, which most uh, e-bikes and scooters that are rated to 250 watts of power regarding they are geared or not they struggle going up here uh, so i'm going to try to use uh, the front motor to see if it has enough power to get me up without actually pedaling and i'm starting right at the base of the hill so i'm not taking any kind of extra speed before and for now it's actually accelerating uphill which is simply amazing i'm doing 20 kilometers per hour and 18 but it's still working i'm not pedaling i'm not using the rear motor this has some serious torque i tell you that so i'm all the way up and now it's getting faster and faster and faster and i'm doing 30 kilometers per hour and i'm still going uphill so that is simply amazing for a motor that is uh, sold and rated to uh, 350 watts of power. But of course, uh, use that calculation that I've probably included and I'm going to tell you the peak power. And that's when you fully unleash that uh, power using the accelerator, the throttle and no speed limit. And now I'm going to repeat the test again with both motors just for fun to see how the dual motor Edo e-bike is now handling this type of incline. Also, I'm not doing anything and just going downhill because the motor's clutch disengages. I'm doing 35 kilometers per hour without using any kind of power. This goes like a like mad going downhill because there's no drag from the motor so again i'm at the lowest part here starts the hill and i'm going to use both motor this time full power no pedaling and i already have 30 kilometers per hour 32 33 30. I need to actually brake here because cars may, might be coming and right here I already have 35, 36 and now you get the idea that this thing completely changes the way it works when it works with two motors. So the benefit of two motors besides getting some higher and top speed is actually to have a lot more torque and power going uphill. Also with the two motors you have a kind of fail safe, you have two batteries, you should have not really the twice as more range when you are using them in this way but you are going to have extended range even if you use both of them together as they will help each other. Another great thing about this uh, type of motor combination is even the motor is a bit heavy and you have now two of them because they are hub motors the weight of them it's on the wheel and it's not influencing the suspension so you still get to keep the comfort uh, also maneuverability is the same you can do very sharp turns there's no issue with that the only thing that you need to be careful with the front wheel motors 
is this thing. If you are on uh, this type of terrain and you punch it, you are going to lose traction in an instance. Uh, so you should be careful with that. But it kind of makes it even more fun when you ride it in this way. It's good that I have full hydraulic brakes on this bike because from 45 kilometers per hour, stopping all of that really needs some serious power. Uh, I really, really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. I enjoy it actually too much, I think. Also, with uh, the two motors, you have uh, off-road uh, performance now because you can go on rough terrains. Hopefully, I will not do a flat tire here because I did that in the past. So, with two motors, it's just like riding on any kind of other things of surface. This thing has a lot of power. You don't feel any kind of drag or problems with the power distributed both front and rear you get awesome awesome traction all right and now you have seen how this bike rides and how it goes i am absolutely amazed by the quality of the front motor kit it has a lot of power it has actually more power than the original uh, already equipped motor but that also comes from the big voltage difference for 36 to 48 volts uh, it has a lot of torque it's a bit more noisy but has better acceleration and the bike will go to 45 kilometers per hour pretty fast and it will keep accelerating probably this is going to hit something about 50 kilometers per hour without uh, any kind of problems uh, it's good that the bike has uh, full hydraulic brakes because you need that you have added weight you have a lot more speed so you really need stopping power as for the Edo e-bike this also handles excellently well even with the added weight but uh, it's still a nimble bike it doesn't feel all of that and now with the extra torque and the extra range makes this a long road cruiser uh, makes it uh, even more interesting so you can do really long uh, trips with it. So here comes in uh, to question, why do you need two motors? Well, you have a lot of things that you can do now. You can go very steep mountain roads. Uh, you can do very long trips. You have a lot of acceleration. There are a lot of benefits. Just keep in mind the added weight. Are there any issues with this build? Uh, I might say that no, but just a warning. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the front fork of the Edo, uh, how well is rated for such kind of uh, extreme uh, torque because when you accelerate you put a lot of torque on the front suspension and you have extra added weight when you brake you put a lot of tension on it so uh, it might be a good idea if you want also front wheel drive on this bike maybe to search for a stronger uh, front shock absorber I'm not saying this is not good I do not just do not know that so uh, this one for my test it worked absolutely well the suspension works really well because the weight of the motor is there it's not up so the suspension works really nice you just have some added weight in the back from the battery so all of that is nice it feels pleasant you can adjust it you can lock it so you have a lot of options but I don't know if the extra torque in uh, uh, long term can uh, destroy or not the front fork so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video i really enjoyed doing this it was really fun with this uh, dual motor also be sure to check the playlist here where you can find more about the dual kit how to install it uh, more videos about it how simple it is to install it uh, full accessories layout uh, unboxing and so on until my next video see you and bye bye